So the first thing that we're going to do, even before we start creating a profile, is we have to make sure that we have two things. And the first is we need to create a Volvo on-call ID. So in order to do that, what you would do is first go to your App Store or your Google Play Store and download the Volvo Cars app. So we're going to create a Volvo ID, and so it will open up this screen. And uh, then what I would recommend doing is use an email address. It gives you options for email and phone number. I would recommend using an email address and it'll ask you to fill in your email address, first name, last name, password, re-enter and a code there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I filled in my information to get my Volvo ID. So I go to get Volvo ID next and it says, thank you. And it has sent me an email and I need to click activate in that email. And now I'm sitting in the car and here are the things that you're gonna need with you. You're going to need your Gmail user ID, your Gmail password, your phone, and extremely important, you need both sets of keys in the car at the same time. So we are now gonna go ahead and create this profile. So to create a profile, all your profile settings are if you pull down on the bar at the top here, you pull the bar down and you will see that over there I have my regular profile set in and I'm now gonna create a new profile. So I hit on this profile and it shows the two profiles that I have in the car and I'm going to add another one now. So I will go new profile and it goes add new profile and you can go okay. I'm going to click on now the where it says profile one there and it will now go on to that profile one so now that the profile is created this is the setup phase of it and it'll automatically guide you through every phase of the setup it makes it very very easy so I'm gonna select my language and then it's going to ask to set up the Volvo ID. So I'm going to go next. And over here, you enter your username and password. I'm going to go through the setup at this point. So I would advise you to go on recommended services here and you go accept. And the next thing we're going to do is pair up the phone. So it goes next. And what we do is we go over to our settings and Bluetooth. And so over here, I don't know if you can see, we've got settings and this is an Apple phone. So we go Bluetooth. So you can see over here that it has recognized this. So you can click on. And now it shows two numbers to pair. So pair here, first of all, on your phone and then it goes allow contacts and favorites to sync so for now i am just going to go don't allow and we can go edit your phone settings this one is really really important so it's actually going to ask you this twice and what it's asking you to do is the following so go back to your settings menu and look under uh notifications so let's try and find that notifications and then you click on the app for messages and what you're looking for is you need to have this banner at the top allow notifications needs to be uh, on so we can we've confirmed that this is on and so we go done and it goes pairing complete and it will ask it a second time because that's how important it is so we go done and pairing is complete so we can go to next and it asks for automatic software download we go accept and at this point it's going to ask if about google services and i would uh, advise you to enable everything just to make sure that all your google services are working all, all right if you're in an iphone it gives you the option to sign in and so to sign in you can go sign in with iPhone or sign in on car screen. 
I'm not going to be using the regular Google account here on my on this phone so I'm going to go sign in on car scene but if you did choose sign in on iPhone what it'll do is it'll give you a code that you can scan a QR code and then you can actually uh, enter your username and password on your phone and then that will allow you to to enter this but instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to go sign in on car screen are going to put our username and password directly onto the screen here i uh, followed the sign in procedure with google and now i'm going to go next and now it's going to ask about google assistant so i go next it's going to ask about turn on personal results i'll go i agree at this point, it's going to ask if I want to download any apps. For now, I'm just going to go skip because I can always go to the Play Store and I can uh, download those apps later. And I'm just going to go skip at the top. And it goes, your Volvo is ready. If you skip the step, you can complete it later. So go finish. Okay, great. So at this point I am completely set up and I'm going to go over and I'm gonna click the settings button one more time. And I am going to go over to profile. And so what we're gonna try and do next is we're going to pair this key with this profile. After we do this, all you will need to do is come and show this, or like when you open the car with this key, it will recognize that it is the, me or whoever is connected to this key and it will save a bunch of different settings. Not only will it do your Google account settings and the apps that you downloaded, but it'll save my seat settings, my mirror settings, my favorite radio stations and my favorite climate control settings. In order to do that, you need to just connect connect profile to key. Now, there is an issue here because I have two keys in the car, so it will not allow me to do this with both keys in the car. So in order to do this, I'm gonna put this, this one key into the cup holder and I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna drop the other key a little bit further away from the car. Okay, the second key is away from the car and I'm gonna go connect key to profile. Okay, I am signing into the Volvo Cars app for the first time and uh, one of the most important things if you know the, all of this that I'm doing is in America right now. So there is a setting when you sign in that says region make sure it says North America. Then you would click on add your car and it's going to ask for you to enter your VIN number. So I'm going to enter the VIN number which is conveniently put in on the screen right here. Now that I've entered the VIN number, it shows my car there and I can go next. And it's going to go uh, on the screen here. You can now click on the next button and then we can go matching numbers. It, yep, it's matching numbers. So we can go yes and yes. Pairing complete and we can go done and done here. Now it's going to go, would you like to use Volvo cars with Siri? And I'm gonna go, okay. It's gonna ask if I wanna give access to my calendar. I do want my directions to get better and better. So I'm gonna go give access and you go, okay. And then, and then in the Volvo Cars app itself, when you pull down here, this is where you have your profile. And over here is where you have, you can contact them and you can book your service or get roadside assistance. And at the bottom here is where you have your account. I wanna mention something incredibly important. If you are ever sell your car or if you change phones, I want you to do exactly what I just did. Go to connected vehicles, and then what you will do is you will click on the vehicle that you have connected and hit disconnect. If you do not do this, you're going to have all kinds of issues. In fact, if, if anybody that trades a car in with us, if they haven't done this, we have to do a full factory reset on the car. Uh, so this is a very, very important step in case you change phones, in case you sell your car, please make sure that you hit this disconnect button before you do any of that. 
And that is everything you need to know about setting up the Volvo on-call IDs. Thank you for watching my video today. I really appreciate your support. If you have any questions at all, please stick them in the comments section below. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the share button, and enjoy your Volvo.